Hi everyone, my name is Kaden, and welcome back to Minecraft. Now I know I just started another series for Minecraft, and I've been working on this project, something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. And to do so, I'm actually going to have to start over once again. Now, as you can see, the world name is going to be Kaden Gaming, Kaden Gaming, and it's going to be Survival. And let's go ahead and jump right in. And as soon as this loads up, you may see why I'm starting this world over again. Uh, it should be the same exact seed. So let's hope it is. The only difference is it's no longer Minecraft 1.9.2. It is actually Minecraft 1.7.10. So there is going to be a little bit of a difference in the seed. Is there always there always is when there's an update. And this is taking a long time to build this terrain, and it, the skins are going to be a little different. Um, I'm not really using a um, what's it called? Oh, well, here we are, and as you can see, I got some mods. It took several days to try to get this to work. Um, I first tried to do it on a server then I did it client side and it always kept crashing um, but as you can see I finally got it working and uh, the mods I'm using are actually from Revenge of the Sea Team. It They're not all from Revenge, well they are all from Revenge of the Sea Team but I don't have all the same mods. Uh, there were a couple mods um, the Urbus, Evilcraft, and the Hats mod, those actually kept crashing my game, so those are not in this. Uh, and then I removed two other ones, the Trade Booth and the Coins as well. I'm the only person in this world, so it doesn't make sense to have a Trade Booth for other players, as well as have an economy for the other players. Uh, I don't have that uh, build, that city that they spawn next to, I forget what it's called, I think it's Everdale. What is that? I think that's one of the battle towers. And this is one of the villages, I believe, spawned right out there in the water. Let's go take a look at it. Um, let's open the lily pads. So one of the things that this mod pack does have is uh, more villages. Just so you know, you can just see running to villages more often. And I hear a villager right there. I just can't. Oh, oh. I don't want to drown. Oh no! Oh no! See, this is why I don't go swimming under ice. Because you could drown. Now, as you see, I start with a couple books. I actually don't know what these books are for. I didn't go through them. I did start uh, another game just to kind of get a hang of how things were, make sure everything was working properly, but I didn't play very much of it. Now, as I was playing it, all the uh, items that I had, they despawned. Then the very first night of restarting, it was a blood moon, so I was kind of screwed there. I also took off the, the, the villager noises thing, so I can't cut off the noises. I just didn't see any need for that. So although it was funny, but it just wasn't needed. What is this? This is new. Molecule Inscriber. Um, inscribe? No? Open menu? Um, home? Here's Redstone. Yeah, so there's a lot of a lot of mod mods in here. What is this? Mad scientist data pad and a GMO. Hold shift. Scan zero of nine carrots with a scientist data pad. I guess we gotta go f scan some scan some carrots. And I every time I get a new achievement, I get fireworks going off. Let's check, take a look at this. Now how do I scan carrots with this? 
Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I need to go get some wood. I need to. I need to just get ready for the first night. Hopefully, it is. It's not a blood moon again. Oh, that scared me. What is this? Iris? What is this? Is this for a um, dye pack? Yeah, or oak brown. So there's a lot of, well, there's a lot of these, a lot of mods. I don't really know how they work, so I'm gonna be learning right along with you guys. And this is not a very good place to start. This, I believe, is copper. Um, but for now, I need to find a tree so I can chop it down and get start making items. Whoa. Alright, let's do it! There we go. That was fun, right? <laughs> that's a long job. I would have died. Let's see, got some lava. I really think that's a battle tower. I kind of want to go there and look at it. But in the meantime, let's get some wood and let's get ready for this first night. I got a couple of chicken. What is this? A couple of chickens. Oh, what is this? What's going on here? This must be one of the other biomes. Uh, I'm not sure I like this biome. That's cool though. What kind of wood is this? Dark Clans Oak Wood. Interesting. Darklands oak wood planks. Huh. Well, anyway. Time to get ready for the night. I don't want to set up a base in this place. It just doesn't look like it's a, a great place. I don't like how it keeps shifting the uh, into that. That's weird. That's really weird. Oh, here's some more of that. I really like that. I think I'm going to do some building with these. I'm not going to turn these into tools. Come on. Well, actually, I may. No. No, I'm not. I'm going to go find other trees. I, I, I want to build with these uh, wood chunks. I like how they uh, have that little blue... Uh, whatever this is dripping down the bark so I'm gonna have to find regular trees I think I see one right over there this biome is just weird actually this tree looks kind of it's like it's half of that we got a ravine right there that's nice like I say I put in the same seed I went and grabbed the seed off of the previous uh, episode and well I, it's not the same not even close to the same it's which is sort of a bummer but hey we've got all these cool mods to play with where's the sun it is oh the sun's going down and then my thing went black I really need to find a better biome this is not doing it If I die, that's a long way back. Now, as I was saying, it's pretty much all the same mods except for a, a few, just because you know they were crashing the, my, they were crashing my game. And they weren't, they were just they weren't working. And I wasn't, I'm not too choked up about it. What is that? Because I really didn't care for those. Anyway, so. No tear shed. Oh, you know that's a battle tower. That's the top of a battle tower. I don't like this biome. Can't see anything. What is? What is this? Uh, okay, it's it's breakable. It did nothing. 
There's a lot of spiders up there. See, this looks like a good area coming up, hopefully. I want to get out of this biome. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to make it in time before night happens. And as long as it's not a blood moon, I'm okay with that. The blood moons are ridiculous. Oh, there's another house there. There's a lot of houses, it looks like, in this area. Yeah, there's a good biome over there. I, I really want to find a place that's sort of flat. What is that? Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. It doesn't like me. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that alone. It's still shooting at me. Ow. And it hurts. It hurts. Where's the door? Where's the door? Oh, please give me the door. Thank you. Okay, well, we have sort of a little shelter here. I like everything that we need right now. Everything that we need. We got a crafting table, we got a furnace, and we got a chest. With nothing in it. Well, there's stuff in it, but nothing that I really need. So let's just clear it out. Alright, so... Let's go over and... Uh, chop down this tree so I can get the uh, pickaxe and start mining some, some cobblestone and make some proper weapons. Getting wood! There's the fireworks. Yay! Anyway, okay, now it's starting to get dark out. Was there a bed in there? I don't think I saw a bed. That would have been nice if I could find a bed. And the trees, they, uh, the leaves despawn super fast. No, there's no bed in here. This looks like it was some kind of a, a shop. Why can't I go over there? Okay. Keep being stuck on something. It looks like it's some kind of rundown shop. What kind of restaurant? Oh, I didn't even notice that. It's missing part of its roof. Fantastic. But anyway, let us turn this into some planks. There we go. Turn a couple of these into the sticks. Make a an axe. Then a pickaxe after this. The reason why I want to turn this into an axe right now so I can turn this crafting table into a crafting station. I don't know about you, but every time I accidentally leave one too many items on a crafting table, then I exit it and it just pops out. It's kind of annoying to me. So let's put these there, put this crafting station down. And another good thing about this crafting station is that if I have stuff inside this chest, like so, then go to crafting station, the chest shows up right here. So I no longer have to keep going in and out of the chest to get stuff if I forget something. I can just immediately go into here and take stuff out and put it back in. It's going to cut down on a lot of back and forth. Oh, did that just open both ways? Oh, that's awesome. They it opens both ways now. Well, anyway, let's go out there and try to brave the outdoors and get some cobblestone real fast. Hopefully there's not a repeat of what happened last time. Okay, well... I guess not. Let's, uh... Yeah. Let's not go out there. But anyway, uh... While we're waiting for the sun to come back up, I guess I'll tell you a little bit of what's in here. Um, I get, no, I can't get up there. But anyway, there's the the morph mod is in here. The uh, biomes of plenty is in here, as you see out there. This weird 
biome right there. Uh, better villages, which puts more villages around. So just so we can find more vill- Oh, there we go, I got up there. So we can find more villages easier. I am not having a good time, and now I'm outside. Anyway, uh, so you can find more villages, and I don't know what he is, but he does not look friendly. I need to get inside quickly. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Go away. You're not welcome. Not welcome. Uh, there's also not enough items, which gives me this right here. Which basically, I can look up a, a recipe if I want it. Let's go with backpacks. So I want to get a backpack. And I get all these. Right here, a backpack. Click on it, and it gives me the recipe. Just so uh, it's just easier to find stuff. To find It's easier to be able to just to craft. And let's go back out here. Yeah, he's guarding the door. Is that me? Yeah. Now I'm pressing the table down. Oh, something just popped. I think a chicken just laid an egg out there. Um, yeah, I can't make it the time go forward. I, I don't have any... Actually, I think he's, he's too big to come in here. Yeah, yeah. What now? What are you going to do now? I'm going to go make a sword. Kill him. See how easy and nifty this is? Nifty. Why did, did I just say nifty? And how easily accessible it is for crafting. Where'd he go? Uh, he didn't like it when I was attacking him. Those stupid vines. Where'd he go? He's over here. Come here. Come here. What is he? Well, whatever he is, he's not going to survive against me. I'm going to kill him. Some kind of like mega zombie or something. Dude, you're going to be my first morph. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe your first morph. Ugh. Come on. Where are you? Yeah. Come here. Vines, vines. Vines are going to kill me. Vines are going to kill me. Come on. My counter-strike skill is ready. Oh. Huh. You can't get this? Ow. Wow, he hurts. He hurts. He hurts a lot. Let's, uh... Not get close to him again. I right, got him. I got his morph. Awesome. Now let's see. Dr. Orange? Oh, that's really strange. I'm huge. I can't fit the door anymore. Let's go on the roof. So I can still jump. There we go. Now I'm on. Now I'm on the roof. Now all I have to do is watch out for skeletons. So let's take a look at myself. Wow. Doctor Orange. I wonder why this guy's called Doctor Orange. It's huge though. What I want to get is a bat so I can start flying around. But what is that? I kind of want to go explore. Actually, no, I'm going to go kill this chicken, get his meat. Uh, I need to morph back into myself. No. There we go. So now I can eat something. These stupid vines are going to have the death of me. More chickens. Alright, so let's put some that in there. Let's take some of this out. And put it in there. So once that's done, I get some hearts back. I'm going to go see what that is. What I'm thinking it is, it's maybe a chance cube. That's another mod that's in here, are, are the chance cubes. Another thing that's in here are, is the force field mod. I don't know if you've seen any of Chimney Swift's videos, but Pungent played a prank on him and 
made a force field on his around some of his stuff. Then he said something about a Jimmy said, sort of said something about doing a light bridge, and I thought that was so cool. So I wanted to go ahead and give that a try. Let's see how that works. Oh, I want to eat. There we go. Now, as soon as my hearts come back, I'm gonna go see what that is. Actually, you know what? Daylight is coming up. Guys, we survived the first night. Just barely, but we did. And this is not a chance cube. It's a random block of wood. Anyway, let's get out of this biome. Because of that weird black mist that keeps spawning all over the place. Now, one thing that I am going to be getting into are the, the guns. There's uh, the guns in here. As that you saw that in Paul Sorus Jr.'s videos, him and his uh, his son Chief Trippa. I think that's pretty cool. So we got a morph, we got guns, we got chance cubes. We have other dimensions as well. I'm gonna have to do more research on those to figure out how to even uh, access those. And then eventually we'll start going into battle towers. And they start fighting for uh, some awesome loot. There seems to be enough of them around. Holy cow. They're just everywhere. Alright, so this is a better place to be. I feel safe right here. So while we're here, let's go ahead and get some wood, make some tools, and build a small shelter and then probably call it an episode. We'll definitely call it an episode. Look like a dog. Do I have bones? I don't have any bones. Oh, I want to make my pet. So, uh, so there seems to be quite a few items for uh, for dyes around, which is cool. I would like a little more even terrain, but for the first episode, it's fine. So let's go ahead and just clear an area, make a small little house, and then call it a night. It's not going to be, this first house is just going to be something just to stay in for the first uh, maybe day or two. Just to get our, just to get situated and get started. Come on. There we go. One of the first things I'm going to do though is definitely get a backpack very shortly. I know it requires uh, gold and lots of leather, so that it may take a little bit, but by the third or fourth episode I will definitely have a backpack. Alright, that seems to be good enough clearing for now. Just clear all the, the shrubbery. Then at probably the next episode I will find a better place. Or make this one better. I like how it's right next to a battle tower. Where is it? There it is. So now for this first uh no, oh, it's dirt. For this first house, let's make a crafting station real quick put this down here put that there and let's make some these and you know what I left crap I'll go get those in the next episode but uh I left the awesome looking tree trunks over there I'll go get them later. If I remember what exactly I was, I actually don't remember. But anyway, let's start building this. I guess we can use the birch. As I said in the other videos, I actually really like the birch. So let's do six. It's going to be a six by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Sorry, tree. You gotta go. Thought I made a big enough uh, area, but I guess not. Good thing these the uh, leaves are gonna go away super fast. Don't have to wait on those. There we go. And uh, now that tree should be fine. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And up two on all sides. So where's that battle tower? Right there. That's gonna be my front. Now my front's gonna be over this way. It's gonna be there right here. Why am I using my hands again? Axe. It's gonna be the front. One, two, one, two. One, two. Two. Uh, all the way around. Now this isn't gonna be, like I said, it's not anything extra extravagant. It's just something to stay in for the first couple of days, just to make sure I don't die as often as I just was. Oh, put those there. Battle tower is actually over here, so let's change this up. These are going to be the windows. I want a nice clear view of that battle tower. So that's... well, I'm not going to see the battle tower anyway. Unless I clear out some of those trees. Which I'll do that later. Put there, there. Put there. I need more planks, Throw that there, there, now let's make a door, let's put down this there, let's actually make two chests, yeah two chests, make a nice big chest right next to the crafting table, and we can put a furnace right there. Look how big that is. Anyway. Alright. Oh yeah. Door. Two side I don't have enough wood. Let's uh make a little bit, bit more wood here. So like that wooden door. For now, let's put it on the outside. And these only open one way. That's fine. And let's see, we're only going to have one window in the front because we have the door and we have that. Anyway. All right. Now for the roof, well actually this video is quite long as it is now, so I'm just going to end it now. I will be finishing up this in the next episode, so just keep a, an eye out. If you like, if you guys liked this video, please smash that like button. If you didn't, go ahead and hit that dislike button. Any uh, feedback is great. If you have any tips or tricks or any uh, suggestions on the mods, please go ahead and leave them down in the comments section below. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye!